So I just want to do another quick video on this website. I'll leave it in the description for you. I'll put the link in the description. So basically what this website is, it's a Tailwind component library. So what that means is this service offers free Tailwind components. Not all of them are free, but most of them are. So you've got 97, 97 components for you to use in your project. So for example, let's take a look at this one here. So this is a sign-in authentication page, whatever you want to call it right so this is like a sign in page right right so you can actually copy to the clipboard when you click that it copies the code right it copies the code and you can actually use it okay so the same with like these you know faqs you know so you can actually just drag them into your project and learn how they do it with tailwind css so a great uh where can i do that hang on a minute good example would be if i was to open up a new term sorry a new window okay so let's say that i set up like a basic react app right so i'll just do pmpm PM create v and then i'll just say like tailwind just select react i'll just select javascript i don't really care so when i go into tailwind and i just do basically just open up the code and pmpm PM, i oh yeah also you would have to install tailwind right so you would have to do well, that bunch of garbage so let me just go ahead and do that honestly i don't know even know why okay so let me just quickly do that um, because it's just going to be the pain in the ass if i just take long so tailwind css let's just oh tailwind install v react so there we go okay cool so okay well okay yeah yeah, yeah okay cool 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 so basically we want, we want to install this and okay, I, I just use a pmpm right because that's just you know pmpm is you know the trend now so there we go i'll just do that and then i'll just copy this crap code sorry tailwind and then boop there we go copy and paste like usual like most developers <laughs> anyways so add the tailwind to your project so index css okay let's do that index what in the garbage is this get rid of it npm all right cool so now we can actually start so yeah i basically just got rid of all that garbage dude okay so essentially okay let's do it so pmpm uh dev you don't need to type in run dev you know okay so there we go amazing no css that's why it looks terrible okay that's not why i'm here to show you so essentially if we went to okay okay sorry where was that authentication page oh here it is so copy to clipboard now watch this you ready so if i just show it in the main application paste you see that look at that Sorry, I'll zoom in so you can see. So like all this code here is just Tailwind. And that was it. That's like, so you can actually turn that into a component, right? So probably that's not the best practice. What you want to do is you want to have a components folder, components, and then have a, a, a like I'll just say auth sign-in or just an auth page, right? And then this is it. So you just add it here. There we go now you call it so you just say import auth from auth it's probably not the best name but it is ideal and there we go so that's the tailwind component so this is all tailwind literally and that's for free and by the way if you're asking they're like okay you know declan what about the responsive design don't worry check this out so if you go uh, you can go inspect element or you can go use this tool it's called responsive viewer I'll leave that in the description too if you really want me to. So check this out, look at that. So we've already got responsiveness here. Look at that. So you can check out all the responsive designs. It's awesome. And you can see how well it would interact with the user. So yeah, that's it. So it works. It works on mobile. It works well. Okay, so now these are, like I said, there's 97 free Tailwind CSS components here for you to look at. So we can actually take a look at some other stuff here. We've got FAQs, like I said, graphs, you know, you've got like SAS landing pages, you know, designs, whatever it is, 
you know, if you've got to create an account page, you know, everything's basic here for you to set up and use for your application anytime, right? So let's say we wanted to look at or use uh, this or maybe testimonials, right? And then we come here and just basically replace what we've just done just to show you. So if I save and I go back and I show you, look, nothing's there, paste, there we go. Now we've got the component. So that, that's just an example, right? So yeah, so you take a look at this. I've left it in the description for you and play around with it. You know, if you're using React, and by the way, you don't have to use React to use this, these Tailwind CSS components. You can actually just use it within your vanilla plain HTML file if you don't want to use any framework in particular. So you can actually still use this within your project, even if you're a beginner. This is what I would suggest. It's very clean, it's neat, it's quick, it's simple. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next.